Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel I document my own print-on-demand journey. I have now sold five products on T Public, and the strange thing is that I actually expected no sales because I haven't got access to the marketplace, so T Public have never approved me for the marketplace. Even though I've tried everything that was suggested in other YouTube videos and blogs, you know, I've got all my albums, I've got my social media presence and everything is linked. I even sent an email twice to the T Public team, but they always came back to me with the same standard reply that so many of you are getting as well. Now I've still made five sales, which is not great, but at least if I'm making some sales, so I will definitely continue to upload to T Public. And I believe this comes from Google. Now I'm not sure about this, so what I've done, I've set up a Google Analytics ID for T Public, and I'm going to show you how you can do the same. But um, yeah, what, what basically happened is I started to upload in November 2020. I think to Tee Public was actually December 2020. So I've been uploading since then more or less regularly. And yeah, if you break it down per month, it's probably like one sale per month, which isn't great, but at least gives me a little bit of motivation. You know, it's far behind what I earn on Spreadshirt and Merch by Amazon or Redbubble or Zazzle, but still, why not, you know? Um, I'm using an automated uploader, so it's not a problem. I can just upload to T Public as well. Now, what? How, how do you do this now? Because what, what is Google Analytics? So Google Analytics will allow you on a um, on a Google Analytics page to really track what is happening on T Public. Now, Redbubble, for example, they have their own sort of analyti analytics, which allows you to understand even without Google Analytics what's going on and where your traffic comes from, even though it's a bit limited. But T Public, T Public doesn't have anything like that. So if you want to understand how your traffic gets to your T Public store, then you need to follow this step. So you go to, first of all, you go to your account on T Public and you click on Google Analytics. Then you come to this page, which basically describes everything what you need to do anyway. So it depends on if you have already a Google Analytics account or not. If you don't have one, you need to create one first, but it is very straightforward. I can't show it to you here because I already have one, but it is straightforward. I think the little slightly more complicated bit comes to when you want to add T Public to your Google Analytics account, but I'm going to show you how that works. Now we go to Google Analytics now. So this is Google Analytics, you can just find it by going to analytics.google.com or you just Google Google Analytics on Google and um, that should work then. Now, how do you add TeePublic now? What you need to do, you go down here to admin, you click on admin and you come to this page here. To add Google and um, to add TeePublic to your Google Analytics, you need to create a new property. Here under new property, what you need to do, you give it a name. So that could just be something as simple as TeePublic. Then you put your time zone in your, your, your currency. It's not really important. Um, it's not really important for this. What is important though, and that is true for Redbubble and also for T Public, is to click on show advanced options here. And then you need to create a universal analytics property. That is a UA code you will get then, and you need to activate that. And what you then have to do, you have to put in the website, which would be in this case, tpublic.com and you don't need to add your own store you just put the website in like tpublic or redbubble.com I will switch that off here because you don't need the Google Analytics 4 you only need the universal analytics property because tpublic it's a different way of tracking it um, but Google um, tpublic don't support the Google Analytics 4 so they only support the universal analytics and you click next and then you can type in here something about your business you know arts and entertainment maybe small business it doesn't really matter what you um, put here and then when you click create then you get an UA code I won't do it now because I've done it already for my T public but when you click create you get a UA code and then you go back to your T public account and down in this tracking ID field here you put you copy in that UA code and then you click submit and then it will be linked. And then I would give it one or two days to get data. So I've only done it today, so I can't see anything on my Google Analytics for T Public yet. 
So as you can see here, there is nothing on my T public page. However, however, there is information here on my Redbubble page. So that clearly shows you how it works. You know, it shows you the active users over time. Um, it shows you where people come from that buy your designs or check your um, store out. You know, it is very interesting, really. Um, shows for me, for example, on Redbubble, most people come from Germany, which is surprising, to be honest. Don't know why I don't make any German designs, um, but still, yeah, very, very interesting. And um, this is pretty much it. So I'm going to wait um, a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, and then I can give you an update where the traffic to my store comes from. I'm sure it must be from Google because how on earth I would otherwise make any sales because my designs don't show up on the marketplace. I mean, I tried everything to find them. I can't. Even the ones that sold, I, I just can't find them. So they probably can be found on Google. I found one of my designs on Google. So I guess that is where TeePublic probably do quite a good job um, to, um, yeah, to, 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 with a link to, to, um, to Google. All right, so hopefully that was useful. Hope you liked the video. If you did, then please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.